Hello guys, Blue Hippo here. Today we're going to take a look at running PowerShell commands and scripts in C Sharp and getting the output from them. There are a few things you need to be aware of when using PowerShell in C Sharp, but don't worry, we'll go over them during the video. In my example here, I'll be using a new console project running .NET 6. To use PowerShell, we need two NuGet packages. So right click on your product and manage NuGet packages. The first package is systems.management.automation. The second package is microsoft.powershell.sdk. Once installed, we'll create a new class, which will be our PowerShell handler. Start off by using system.management.automation and create a new PowerShell variable, calling powershell.create on it. We'll create a function to interact with PowerShell and get the output after execution. This will take a string as input, which will be the script or command we want to execute. In here, we'll create a few variables. One of them is a string to hold potential error messages in case any errors are encountered. Next step is adding the script to the PowerShell instance, then adding the command out string to make sure output will be added to the stream. To get error messages if any are received, we will subscribe to the error stream contained in the PowerShell instance. The error message is a PowerShell data collection of type error record. So we need to convert it to a string and add it to our PowerShell error message variable. Then we'll tell the PowerShell instance to start invoking the script and add any output to our output collection. Calling end invoke on the PowerShell instance afterwards, which will wait for the execution to be finished. We can then create a string builder and loop through the output collection and append the output items we've gotten. One important thing to do when your script is executed is to clear the PowerShell run space to make sure it doesn't just run the same script again and again. If the error message variable is not null or empty, then our script encountered an error. You can choose to do something about that error, but in this demo, I just want it as a string and we'll return it. If no errors were encountered, we'll just return the string builder with the PowerShell output. Now, we can test that everything works by having our PowerShell handler return the output from system info, just as an example. As you can see, this works as expected. One thing you want to keep in mind, though, is that we're only capturing the output and the error stream. So anything outputted only to the host won't work. So for example, write host will show nothing, but write output will work just fine. You also want to keep in mind that you can't just use quotes inside the string like you normally do in PowerShell. Single quotes inside the string it work just fine, but you just want to be aware of that. The last thing to be aware of is that the PowerShell version people are most used to is PowerShell 5, whereas the version we're using here is PowerShell 7, meaning some modules will work differently, and when importing them, you may need to use the switch, use Windows PowerShell, but just be sure to test your scripts out on PowerShell 7 before you run them.